Good morning, Brian with Grand Roofing. In this video, we're gonna keep it short. We're gonna talk about pipe boots, what typically goes wrong with them, and why maybe you might cause more damage trying to repair the pipe boot than just doing a quick emergency patch to buy some time. First off, I'll say this roof is old. It's wore out. You can see behind me, it's got a lot of granule loss. The shingles are fairly brittle. The seal strips are splitting apart, no problem. So the worry wouldn't be getting the shingles out. The worry would be putting the shingles back in, flexing them up enough to get some nails in it. So knowing that, uh, We'll talk about the common issues that go bad with the pipe boots and some remedies for them. So I just want to state that, yes, this roof is pretty much wore out. I notified the owners of it. They're aware of it. They're going to start planning for replacement. It's not got any actual leaks anywhere other than right here, and we'll talk about that. But I did notice and explain to them. By the way, you'll notice the ridge vent. It's missing. There's no box vent, so it's there's not under ventilation. There's no ventilation. This is a south-facing slope. It is way worse and wore off on this than the opposing north slope. I think that's just due to all the excess heat buildup from the sun blasting down on it and it can't radiate and dissipate that heat like it should. So ventilation is pretty important. But back to the point of the video and all the way in, if you could give it a thumbs up. Like I said, we're going to go through the common issues and some things you can do to in an emergency pinch. Very little skill with this video. Some of your common sense, you can do this. So just came around and see what we can learn. All right, so now we got all that out of the way. The typical issues with these style boots. This is referring to whether it's a plastic boot, it's an aluminum boot, or a steel boot, doesn't matter. The weakest point is typically this, that is if everything else is done right. This usually cracks, gets brittle, and dries out. This is not the issue of the leak. This Other things to watch for are the plastic, they get old and deteriorate. Sometimes, depending upon the installer, the time of year, if they shoot a pneumatic into the flange up here, over time that, that stores that stress, that energy, it has to expand and it can't. Over time it gets brittle and can have a stress fracture crack and come up under the shingle. You don't necessarily know it. So you want to look around this part, see if that's okay. But the dead giveaway is these areas here. I talk about the nail placement and shingles and keyways and boots and flashing. It's super important. What's going on here, even though they sealed the top, it is so low and close to the outer edge, I don't know why roofers think, oh, it's a good idea to shoot right here, shoot right here. You know, first off, let's address this too. So I get some people saying, don't ever shoot this. I've come across leaks because the raised up and wind driven rain blows in. Pitch of the roof has a bit of a factor on that. If it's fairly flat and the low slope is about a 512, water will sit there more, not slide off as easy, and you get wind and it just works its way up under. If you're on like a 10-12, 12-12 or something, it's going to be more apt to go down than blow back in. You know, it's it just, it, just take my word for it. You know, as in the Tommy Boy video, you can get a good look at a bull's ass if you stick. I, boy, I botched it as bad as he did. <laughs> I even said it the other day. Anyways, just trust me. All right, I've done this about 20 years. If you don't want to fasten them, fine. You may not have a leak. You can fasten them, you still get a leak. I'm getting so sidetracked in my head here. Anyways, some people say don't nail it, I do. But the location of the nail placement is super important. And also some people say nails, they pop out. Yes, they do, they can over time. So if you wanna screw it, screw it. The threads are gonna lock into the wood and it's gonna be good. That is if the wood is good underneath. All right, so where do you put the nails? Or screws in that case. Up and in a little bit. You can still pin this down. I mean, look at this here. It's gonna be pinned down plenty good. What you don't want is this so low that water surface tension wicks up under. It's just kind of stagnant and it kind of capillary action. It just flows up under there. It'll start rusting these out. They start pulling up and you have a hole there. You should not be able to lift this out with your finger like this. They start rusting, just not good. Shingles are not made to seal around a nail. The shingle above is supposed to cover the nail so the water doesn't get to it. By the way, the seal strip has nothing to do with blocking water from going in. The seal strip only holds the shingle above down to it and the fasteners in that general area so nothing moves. This is not good. This could have been prevented. The water coming down is now running down this and leaking into that hole. It's just catching this and whoop, dripping right in. So what we're going to do to fix this, by the way, if that is the issue, that's usually the common issue. I've got other videos, just a simple little sleeve that shoves down over it. If it is the pipe boot itself, yeah, you're, you're gonna have to replace it. <clears throat> in that case, I've, I think I've got a video somewhere on the channel about removing the shingles, but these are super brittle, like I said. So in a case like this, it's not really a hard fix. What we're gonna do is just take an old piece of flashing I've got here, we're gonna bend it flat. I've been able to easily split this seal strip. You're gonna have to pull this third nail out right here. I'd probably do it in my hand, honestly. Yeah, it's not as bad as the others, but it's not good. The reason this is not as bad is because the majority of the rain coming down above is actually being diverted around. 
you're not getting much on it. You're only, what's hitting here is getting to this. So you're not getting a lot over the years wrapping up under. Now everything on the sides though, different story. All the water running down here is coming down this edge and it's getting into them. That's why these are going bad. We're gonna pop this nail out, pop this nail out, bend a piece or two of flashing flat, shove it under to bypass and cover those holes, those penetrations, goop a little bit of a sealer, which I'm using the GSL brand 4500, and put new nails in up higher and in. So let me try to do this real quick. Let me see if I can't set this down maybe. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Use my handy dandy flashing to hold it maybe. How about my car? I need a helper. I need a videographer. There we go. Is it in view? Maybe? Kind of? Oh, shoot. If I don't fall off the roof. All right. There we go. We're just going to pop this out using the flat bar to push down. If I can get it on there. Just to break that seal strip off the top and get this nail out of here. Putting the nail on the flat bar so I have something hard to push and give it a wider surface area so it points just not pushing a new hole in it. Just get those out of there. Make sure there's nothing going to catch. You know, a nail right here, maybe. Good. Got two pieces here, should be good and sufficient. Now what we're after is just to get this essentially shoved up under there. If we can go up far enough to not need to have that hang out or cut it, trim it, then great. But I, my suspicion is there might be a nail in that area. You'll never know until you try. We're actually hitting something right up in here. It might be a nail in this shingle under the flange. In that case, let's just trim it real fast. I'm going to do this with uh, one hand. stuff so much easier without having to film all right so there we go that's under there so if you look in that hole if water does drip into there it's now on a piece of aluminum flashing and it's going to run out work its way out we're also going to seal under this too and put a couple dabs to reseal this shingle let's do the same thing on the other side here get it to lap we're hitting something right there yep right there there's a nail we're going to be up high enough, so what we're going to do, just kind of mentally know where that's at right there. Pull it out. We can just cut a little U-shape in this right here in that general area. Let me try to do this here. Or you just cut the whole thing flat. It doesn't matter. The biggest thing is you want to make sure that that piece of flashing is going to be up past the holes inside here. Crossing that third one in the middle. You're not gonna see anything. Again, it's covered now. We're also gonna put some sealer to hold all this in and then drive two new nails pinning those pieces down. And yes, for those of you pro roofers out there, let me address you right now. You're gonna be like, that's not a repair. Look at the roof. A repair would be removing this. That's the point I'm trying to share with the people that don't know how to do this. Something simple to get by, so. I get good comments, I get bad comments. I get bad comments, they really don't bother me. I just don't think about it. My intent is to help people. And I feel like it's helping way more people out there than the haters trying to make me feel bad. So the point of the video, the, the channel is to help people. I feel like the YouTube channel has grown pretty good. Thank you to you guys too, by the way. Just broke 20,000 subscribers last night. Uh, giveaway coming up. Hopefully you get this video out there pretty quick. Losing my train of thought here. Oh, yeah, so there's not a lot of good roofing content in my eyes. I've seen a few. There's a couple guys like uh, Veteran Construction, Zach of All Trades, just north of me a couple hours, Dmitry Lipinski. Um, I'm sure there's a few more. There, you get the comical BDRs and the Not Your Average Roofer guy, but every, other than that, it's all who's the fastest? Who can rip off their customers? Who can make the most profit? Profit's not bad. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. We all go to work for money. Sorry, I'm going on right here. Back to the video. Got to get this done. Actually, shoot. I wanted to be done because the market's open here in a minute. I think I may have missed it. I got to close out of position. The jolts report came in and it was not a good, good number. All right, let's finish this up. 
How am I gonna do this nail here? I need a way to hold this phone as a GoPro. All right, are we in view there maybe? I hope, I hope, I hope. If it's not in view, I'm sorry, I'm holding the phone with my knee. So we're gonna try to gently get a little bit under here and then on the shingle so those pieces don't move. Get it right here, right there, right there, right there. Shove this one over a little bit. Okay. I do want to try to seal right here a little bit where those holes are. You don't want to put a line there blocking water too, by the way, any rain that gets into it. We're going to move this in and up a little. Now for the mag hatchet, why well, it's so handy dandy. Neodymium magnet embedded into the hatchet. It's not locked in a channel right there. By the way, I'll put a, a tag. Google's got this new thing where I can tag products. Also, if I can't find this AJC mag hatchet on there and, and uh, link it with Google, sometimes they're actually a better, better price than the Amazon affiliate links I threw in there for you guys. If I can't find it on Google, I'll, I'll attach it in the Amazon affiliate links as well. So, but I, hell, I'm holding my cell phone and able to do this to show you guys. Except you gotta hit it straight. I'm trying to swing while watching my uh, that nails all jack and goobered. I'm trying to swing this while looking through my phone screen. Not working so well. Let's do this again. There we go. Winner, winner. Those aren't going anywhere. These holes are kind of sealed. If it gets in there, it doesn't matter. If it makes it through the sealer, through the hole, it's on the step flash in which will run out. So again, this is just kind of an emergency patch. We're getting ready to go into winter here. Owner's notified of the condition of the roof. And if they wanted this replaced, I'm not gonna do it. The shingles, if you try to lift up just a little bit more, they just split and tear and shatter. It's not good. I don't want to get stuck into trying to replace this because I'm Mr. Pro Roofer and I got to move these. By the way, I, I think I'm pretty good and I know that I'm not going to be that guy that says, oh, that's not right. You remove these and then you mess these up. Then you're trying to get this one loose to replace this and you mess this one up and it's a never ending process all the way up the roof. So this is what we got. Hopefully you liked it. We're going long. I do it for you. You could do this for me. Until next time, be safe. We'll see you on the next video.